Rishis of Naimisaranya looked at Sudha Mahamuni and asked, O oh, gifted student of Vyasa, tell us about Lord Shiva's Tribura success story. What was the shape of Tribura? What was the strength of Tripura army? How much was Shiva's army? You should say us all about this. So the Mahamuni began to say, Fortunate and dear ones of Lord Shiva, you all have asked the holy virtue story, on hearing which one can get rid of all his miseries. Tara was an Asura who was capable enough to do magical tricks and make even the biggest magician go and dizzy. He had a son in the name Taraka. Taraka, on his order from his guru, went to the beautiful forest Mathu and did severe penance to succeed all devas. He did severe penance under the sun for hundred years, standing in one leg and raising both his hands and the other leg. After that, for another hundred years, he stood on his big toe. For hundred years, he just had only water. For hundred years, he just breathed air. For hundred years, he stood in water. For hundred years, under hot sun. For hundred years, he stood in the midst of fire. For hundred years, he holded the branches of the trees and hanged. For hundred years, he stood upside down and did a very fearful, severe, severe penance. Because of that, a great brightness started from his head. This tapas agni started to burn the worlds of the devas. Devendran was in the fear if this asura will occupy his position. Devas suffered much due to the heatness. What surprise is this? Has Lord Shiva started to destruct this universe when this is not the right time for it? They doubted. Only then they knew and Asura was doing a severe penance towards Brahmadeva. Devas thought, even if Brahma does not give rare big boons to that Asura, his penance will cause calamity to their worlds. Even if he is giving such boons to him, as he is an Asura, he will only create trouble to the whole world with it. So, they all got together, discussed about this, and immediately started to meet the four-faced Brahma to ask about this. They prayed to Brahmadeva and said about the severe penance Taraka Asura is doing. Brahmadeva came to know about everything through them. He left in his van to the place where Taraka Asura is doing. Severe penance appeared before him and said, I am much happy about your severe penance. What boon you want, ask me. At once, Tarakasura prayed, praising the Srishti Karta and said, You have four faces and you are the God for all Devas. If you are capable enough to give me boons, then I want two boons. They are, I should be the strongest man, nobody equal to me in this world created by you. So, give me such great strength. Only when a son born out of the powers of Lord Shiva becomes the general commander of the army and puts an arrow on me, only then death should come to me. He asked these two boons. Brahma at once gave his desired boons and left to his Satiloka and cooled himself from the heatness caused due to, due to the penance of the Asura. After that, Taragasura stopped his penance and left to Sonitapuri with great happiness as he got big boons. Asuras from all places got together and asked Taragasura to be the king for all Asuras in the three worlds. After that, Taragasura was consecrated and crowned as their king by Asuras. He ordered everybody in this world to do things that were not done so long. Danavas were the descendants of the women Danu. They were also Asuras. Yakshas were created by God to protect the natural richness. They were short and were half divine in nature. Gbera is a Yaksha. Taragasura 
troubled all brahmanas kshatriyas vaisyas sudras animals danavas yakshas and kimpurushas they all suffered much because of this asura taragasura snatched away all their things from them indra and all devas paid their great wealth as a tribute to him devendra's royal horse uchchaswara yamadharma's gemstone studded pole kubera's gatha and his nine treasures varuna deva's eminent horse maharishi's holy cow kamadenu all went to that asura in whichever place he saw dignified eminent things at once he will take away them along with him the king of the oceans samudra raj gave him his gemstones sun god illuminated the asura's place with his heat and light for that long period for which it was a pleasure to that asura seasons went for a toss moon stayed close to him at all time and cooled the place around him vai deva blew breeze filled with fragrance at all times for his comfort havya offered to devas through yagna and kavya offered to pitrus all reached the strong asura all living in the three worlds trembled with fear they thought taragasura's order was important of all when devas and yakshas were acting on the order of that asura should we tell about the human beings who succumb to disease and death significant rivers and parks in the heaven or in this earth or in the underworld were all established in taragasura's capital city that was asura's tyrannical rule and it went on for many many years at that time all devas got together and surrendered to brahmadeva sitting on the lotus